Hi, my name's David Drew, and uh, I'm a landscape designer. All my adult life, because of the way I was raised, I've had a hard time accepting the fact that Jesus really loved me and that I was part of his, his, his plan. In 1983, I had gone to a place called Church in the Rock in Rockwall, Texas. I had not been going to church for quite a while because of the fact that I just I didn't feel like I should have to go. I mean, what, what's the point? Because I wasn't loved by God anyway. But in, in 1983, I went to Church in the Rock. It was, Oct it was October the 23rd. And uh, the pastor there had given a message about forgiveness and uh, I just fell. I just said, yes, Lord. But uh, even after that, me and my wife struggled. I ended up leaving her. I started going back to bars and doing things that I shouldn't do and getting around people I shouldn't get around. But the hard thing about it was is, is I would be in a bar and I'd be sitting there and all of a sudden I'd just start weeping. And I didn't know why, but I'd just be crying, and, but, and, I, and somebody come up to me and say, David, what's wrong? What's wrong with you, man? And I go, man, I, I don't know. I feel, I feel like I don't, I've lost my identity. I don't know who I am anymore. I'm here. I, I, I know that God wants me to speak to people about his love, and to, I should be telling you how to get out of what you're into, and I'm in here with you crying in my beer and doing things I shouldn't do, and I know better than this. I remember one night this girl came up to me and we were talking and somehow we started talking about the Lord and she came up to me and said, I want you to know something. God is not through with you. Wherever I turned, it seemed like God was there meeting me somewhere through somebody or something. Finally, one day I, I had been drinking and this person I was with had said, you know, I think you're an alcoholic. And, and that, that hit me wrong because I said, you're crazy because you're just as loaded as I am. But that next morning I woke up, I was, and I felt really, really, really empty. I decided to call somebody for help, and I ended up calling a secular organization called First Step, and the guy there, he, he started talking to me about the Lord, and here I is, another Lord thing, you know, talking to me, saying, don't give it, just trust in God, He's going to help you. And he gave me all these steps to do. And to, you know, up until two weeks, and he said, in two weeks, come and visit me. Two weeks later, I showed up. I said, I'm the guy who called you two, a week, two weeks ago looking for help. And this is at a time when I didn't feel like coming back to God. It's just that something deep inside of me was telling me, if you don't stop, it's over. Well, it took time to clean me up, but he did, I did get cleaned up, and I did get set free from alcohol. But I still wasn't going to church yet. I, you know, I was still dealing with the, with the fact, what should I do? I had lost my wife during all this time. I lost my business. And I was trying to get a divorce. And I never, but it ended up I never did get a divorce. I, I decided to start going to this little church. And I told the pastor what all had happened to me and what I'd done and how I'd walked away. And, but instead of judging me or condemning me, he said, come, we'll work this out together. And what I'm going to try to tell you people today, those of you who have struggled with love and you tried to find it in the wrong places, you've, you've been involved in drugs, you've been involved in alcohols and affairs, you know, whatever it may be, homosexuality, perversion, anything, you know, I'm going to tell you there, there is a way out and there is someone that loves you. He didn't forsake me. When I chose to run from him, he came after me through people who were drunk, through people who were, who, were bad, who were not necessarily people you would find in church. He will go to the, the very depths of where you're at and meet you right where you're at. He'll go down into the pit and take you out of it. He did it before, he'll do it again. He took me, he set my feet upon a rock, he cleaned me up, and he said, he said I love you, David. Today I've begotten you. And because of him, I have an identity now, and it's in him, in Christ Jesus. Thank you.